Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another edition of makeup. That is not what I meant to say, but it is. That clock is wrong. 9.41 and I am tired. <laughs> so I've been doing this look for probably like the past two, one to two hours. And majority of that time has been on these eyes. So. Um, my sister reached out to me and she asked me to recreate a look or no, she asked me to show her how to do a look. And so when I first saw it, I was like, oh, okay. That's what we're going for. Oh, okay. So, um, this is the look. Um, it was featured on Morphe Brushes and her Instagram handle is by Brookell. Um, and it's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Mine kind of went left a little bit, but I do still like the way that it came out. So if you, I might even touch it up a little bit now that I look at her, look back at hers. Anyway, so if you want to see how to recreate this look, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I forgot to tell you what palette I'm using. For this, I'm using Take Me to Brazil palette. <laughs> I'm so sleepy, guys. It's not even funny. By BH Cosmetics. And this is what it looks like. So, we're going to try that again. If you want to see how to recreate this look, don't forget to... Oh, my goodness. If you want to see how to recreate this look, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. I'm so tired. Mwah! So today's gonna be different because I'm trying a new look and I was tasked with trying this new look by my sister. So um, she asked me to show her how to do a look. And I saw the look and I was like, okay. <laughs> the look is gorgeous. The look is really, really gorgeous and it's flawless. Um, it's the first time I've ever tried something like this, this colorful. So, we're going to give it a shot using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And it looks like this. Oops. Just bought it. <laughs> it looks like this. So, let me show you the model, the muse that I'm using. Gorgeous, right? Oh my goodness. So. She's using the James Charles and Morphe palette, but I don't have that palette, so I'm using that palette instead. So, let's get into it. pretty bright and vibrant pink and I'm going to be using this as one of my transition shades. I want to start it from the crease as I normally do and then work my down to the eyelid as I normally do. I'm sure there's more than one way that you can accomplish this look but this is just what I went for. So I'm going to go in with one of my Morphe blending brushes from that collection that I always talk about. It is linked in the bottom bar below. And I'm going in with a bigger blending brush to blend that out. The key for me to this look is make sure you blend all of these colors out before. So blend one color out before you pack on one, one blah, 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 more color and then move on to the next color and make sure you just blend, 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 blend everything together. So you can't see like a separation of colors. It should just all just mesh and blend well and no harsh lines. So this look took me longer than it normally would uh, because one, there's so many colors involved and two, I had to make sure I blended out each color. And next I'm going to go in with that purple shade and I'm going to be going into my crease with this color. Um, not all the way up into the crease where I put that pink color, but just like right in the fold. And then I'm going to be going back and forth between the smaller blending brush, which is more so like a pencil brush. It's like a really large pencil brush. 
and then going in with the big blending brush to blend out that purple color. going to be used all over my lid this is just one of two colors no one of three colors that I used on my lid so this is my lid color and as you see I'm going back in and blending everything out these colors over time um, has started to fade a little bit as I packed on um, different colors so towards the end of the eyeshadow look you'll see me go back into the pink go back into the purple and reapply those to make it more vibrant shimmer to it and I'm going to be applying this over that dark blue I just put down because I'm trying to achieve that like almost iridescent light like sea blue color um, that by Brooke had on her lid so that's why I'm packing on so much lid color because I'm trying to achieve that exact color the next color I'm going to be going in which is the last color on my lid is like a icy uh, white shade and I'm using this again to kind of lighten up that blue and make it more um, vibrant than what it already is. And now, like I said earlier, I'm going to be going back in. Well, actually, I'm going in with a black, a matte black. And I'm going to be applying this just to my outer V to really smoke it out because that's how she had it in her um, picture. And then to cut out my crease a tad, I'm going in with that dark blue color and a small pencil brush to cut out my crease. Trust me, all of those clips may have only lasted seven minutes in this video. However, add like an Mm, 35 minutes of that just on the eyes anyways I'm going in with my foundation routine I'm going in with my foundation brush and then my makeup addiction sponge using the Lancome ultra tint idle wear foundation oh I got it right on the first time look at me <laughs> in the color bisque which is 425 blending this out blending it out blend 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 majority of your routine is blending people blend Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm going to be applying the LA Girl Cosmetics um, Concealer for my contour color and mahogany and dark cocoa. If anyone's tried the um, Shape Tape Foundation, I would really, really love to um, get your opinion and your reviews on it. I'm in love with the concealer, um, so I'm really curious about the foundation. So if you've tried it before, let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments. And I'm blending this out with my Makeup Addiction Sponge. I, I, I have to get another one of these, a few more.
Next, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and using this to set my highlight. And for my contour, I'm going to be using the Luscious Cosmetics Matte Drama Palette um, to set the contour. Contour. So I'm going with my Pacifica Beauty Blush and Tender Hearted as always. And this time I'm going with, in with the mirror that I'm always using to apply my makeup in the past few videos is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Ambrisi Highlighter. This highlighter is bomb. And I think I went in like two or three more times. I didn't uh, add them to these clips, but I went all the way in with that highlighter. Listen, listen. <laughs> now I'm going with that dark blue shade and I'm going to be using this um, with a liner brush to line my bottom water, bottom water lash line. Really? Does that make sense? Absolutely not. Um, my lower lash line and I'm putting it in, okay, I'm over it, <laughs> putting it in my water line. <laughs> Sorry. And I blended it out with that purple shade with the pencil brush. Now I'm going with Soft Spoken by NYX for my liner, applying it not only as my liner, but all over the lips. And then after that, I'm going to be applying, I applied Barrier Minerals 24K as a lip gloss over top. And then guess what? We are finished! And if you were create this look, don't forget to tag Vibe Raquel because that's where my inspiration came from. And I'd love to see your looks as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.